Hi, my name is Cheryl Zelenitsky and I own and operate Harbor Engraving Signs and More in uh, my shop located on my property in Point. Winnipeg Beach, Manitoba. Uh, being my own boss has allowed me to develop the ability to showcase my creative abilities, but it has also allowed me to set my own path. Uh, being responsible for every aspect of a business can be stressful. Uh, as there's so many decisions to make on a daily basis, but in the same See, breath, um, how the decisions you make helps to make your business grow and flourish gives you a great sense of accomplishment. Uh, biggest hurdle I'd have to say would be financial, uh, building my business into what it is today without the help from the bank uh, has been uh, challenging to say the least, um, but in the same time, um, now that I know I'm building a solid financial plan with Community Futures and Women's Enterprise Center, uh, I feel like I'm going to be able to take my business into the future and help it to grow even more. And the only other hurdle was operating and learning the software for all the equipment I acquired. Uh, that um, I've done with lots of trial and error and practice. Um, I measure my success, I guess, in a few ways. One of my sales is my sales um, each year, uh, but the other way I measure my success is my clientele base. I started off with acquiring the business with about 100 uh, customers, and currently I'm close to 800 now on my clientele base, and they refer me to, my, uh, to their friends and associates, and uh, my business just keeps growing. Um, I have to say, um, if I were to advise someone with a disability wanting to start their own business. Uh, firstly, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Uh, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Uh, do your homework, uh, research. Uh, make sure that there's a demand for what you're going to be doing. Create a solid financial business plan. And again, Community Futures uh, is there to help you overcome uh, these types of things and to make the path that you've taken much more smoother. Uh, they have a great group of people working for them, and they're willing to help you, you know, your business become a success. Uh, we're never too old to learn anything. I figured the day that happens is the day I'm pushing my I initially reasons. moved to Winnipeg Beach 21 years ago. Um, both my husband, husband and I in the city, so we moved out here. Having my business located in a rural community, I uh, find that you get great support from the people and the businesses out here. They could go to Winnipeg, but they don't. And, you know, I wouldn't have my business anywhere else. I, I would never relocate to the city. I'm quite content being here in Winnipeg Beach and, and having the, the business thrive as it has been.